Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, this is Glam by Emmy, and I'm bringing you guys a dreamy, blue, magical, ethereal <laughs> type of blue, baby blue look uh, that's perfect for the spring. And I was actually inspired by someone on TikTok and their makeup look. So I'll be including their kind of information on the video later on when I get started on the nail art. So go ahead and give her a follow. Um, she does really bomb makeup looks. And once I saw that makeup look, I was just like, oh my gosh, like I have to recreate it. It looks so beautiful. So that's kind of what I'm doing today. And I'm practicing more with poly gel. A lot of you guys seem to like and enjoy poly gel videos. Uh, I'm assuming it's because you guys like it's more accessible, you know, than acrylic. Acrylic, you have monomer. Some people can't use monomer. Uh, for health reasons, their building reasons, it's expensive. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to really be doing poly gel more too. Um, even though I do love acrylic, poly gel is something that's yeah, it's really cool because you don't have to be smelling that monomer scent. All you have to do is use uh, either a slip solution or I, right here I'm using 71% isopropyl alcohol. But I actually did go to Target today and go get 91% isopropyl alcohol so I will let you guys know the difference in my next video um if I see a huge difference I just feel like hopefully it'll help it be more slick I noticed with the 71% it's a little bit of like a thicker substance so we'll, we'll see how that goes I will definitely let you guys know but I'm going ahead and I'm using the color rose from McCart poly gel uh, in my previous video I'll link it right here um, I did a little unboxing of a little set I bought. I believe it was $30, but I got a bunch of things in the set. And the only thing I was upset, I was like kind of sad it didn't come with was a slip solution. But it's okay because I had that uh, alcohol right there. And I thought that was so cool. You can just use like straight up like alcohol in, um, you know, for this uh, medium too. So that was awesome. Um, going in, just taking off any excess. I'm gonna place the like a long bead down the nail just because I have uh, these are size 2x nails so I'm just placing a long bead and then I'm gonna flatten that and make sure that I am getting the poly gel to cover all sides of the nail the whole tip and making sure I'm bringing it down to smooth it out so right here I just start by flattening it down the middle and then I'll go to the sides and kind of bring it down the sides and then I'll do the same thing for, you know, the other side as well. And as I'm doing that and like finagling it, I will kind of just do put, put it where it needs to be put. And then towards the end, I'm going to start smoothing out the sides and smoothing the poly gel downwards to remove any excess. And then also to give it more of like a smooth surface or a smooth appearance. Uh, smoothing it down is really a big step especially when it comes to filing if you kind of just place it on the nail tip um and don't smooth it down and just kind of like repeatedly brush it down it does look kind of rough so um i'm just kind of doing that to ensure that it is like it isn't too thick it's nice and smooth the application is really nice and of course with any nail application whether it's acrylic poly gel builder gel whatever you have um, you want to make sure that you're looking at every possible angle for the nail, right? You want to make sure you're looking at the sides to make sure you're not missing any. You want to look from uh, down the barrel to make sure it's not like uneven on the left side or the right side. Or to add any or remove any if you have too much. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing that with the application. Most of these nails I used uh, two beads, so I used the bead for the free edge and the length of the nail and then the second bead I used was kind of just to build up the apex so you guys will see that in action right here I added my second bead to just build up that apex and build up a little bit of thickness there and just a reminder that in between as I'm done uh, placing the beads and smoothing them out and everything I am curing them for 60 seconds um, just to make sure everything's set so it won't move around and I did go in with base coat on my natural nail and the free edge before I started all this application and cure that as well for 60 seconds next video I'll make sure to show you guys the application but I, I kind of struggled with recording this look I'm not gonna lie um, it's been heating up so my phone while I was recording you know I have the ring light right there I had it plugged up charging it started to get overheated and it like 
there was moments where I was recording, for example, the filing part, and it it like it kept saying that the phone was too hot so the flash is disabled and then it also disabled my ability to record so i would record and it would record for like two seconds and then just stop recording but i didn't know so yeah i wasn't able to get any um of the filing action so i was really sad about that but definitely in the next video i'll get that for you guys but has that guys ever happened to you guys with your phone like you're trying to take a video but it's too hot or like the memory is acting weird i don't know my phone was just like it seemed like it did not want me to record this video for some reason but i pushed through it because i was ready i was getting pretty frustrated like i was getting ready to stop but um no i wanted to get a video out for you guys i wanted to show you guys this look and share it so i definitely even though it's missing some things like i definitely wanted to make that happen for you guys still and um just a little side note have you guys been to target lately bro like target has upgraded so much i mean i'm in the bay area so they're pretty nice up here but like target has it carries like la roche pose like it has ultas in there it has levi's in there now like it's just upgraded so much i feel so luxurious going to target now like them lines are always crazy but uh who who else Comment down below if you love going to Target because oh my god, Target is my jam. I I will spend there all day just looking at all of the stuff. And especially with the skincare section, like not to mention the makeup and Ulta. So they have like the makeup section and then they have a separate Ulta section and then they have just an area pure like for pure skincare. It's it oh my god. Y'all. Y'all gotta check it out. <laughs> But let me let you guys watch the rest of this application. I'll kind of come back when it comes to the nail art and explain a little bit of how I'm doing that.
Okay, so getting started with the nail art. You guys know I like to do my French tips like this. It's just the easiest method I've found for myself. Um, I just like to kind of fill out the top area, end it where I want to end it, and then I'll go ahead and create my French tip from there. Um, definitely want to try different methods, but this is the one that I'm like comfortable with so far. But I definitely want to reach out of my comfort zone and try and see if there's something else that'll work for me. I mean, no matter what, friendships are hard, <laughs> right? No matter what, they're going to take, uh, they're time consuming, they're stressful, but, um, you know, it's just about finding whatever is easiest for you. And I feel like this method is the easiest for me right now, but this color is so helpful. Like pigmented gel polishes are so helpful they're like a godsend when it comes to doing french tips because that pigment is not going to let you down like you don't have to keep continuously going over and over it to get that opaqueness that you're looking for so i really love um madame glam's polishes and they sent me some more so if y'all want to see me use some more go check out my tiktok i'm going to be doing um a new summer look on there with some summer colors so i'm excited about that uh, for the chrome part, I just take my top coat, I put it where I want it to be chrome, so that's over the French tip design. I'll put top coat over that, cure that for 30 seconds, and then go ahead and rub on the top coat. And I had like a little tie-dye look going on with my white finger, but I honestly felt like it was throwing the entire look off. So I kind of just went over it with blue and did a chrome there as well. Um, I'm glad I made the change though because that white, like I wanted to do something, like I had a vision for it, but it just wasn't coming out how I wanted it to. So I just decided to go over it with black, but it was still nice to use the white and see how it works and everything like that. Um, so I'm just going in, I made a dot with my dotting tool and I'm going in with my liner brush, a very thin brush and pulling out the gel polish from the center uh, to the outside pretty much. I'm not using any extra gel polish for this step. I'm just pulling it out from the center and then I'm going in with a little brush just to make a little cloud right there and I'm just playing with the existing gel polish right there kind of trying to I guess ombre it out and make it look fluffier like clouds so same thing with these ones just going in from the center and bring it out um, these were kind of coming out a little messed up because my brush was super stiff but uh, yeah just make sure you're always using clean brushes um, See, that's why that happened is because it's like I think it uh, got some gel cured in there so make sure you're cleaning your brushes um, to ensure that this doesn't happen again I'm not really using any extra product I'm just using the product that's on the nail that I've created with my dotting tool and I just made to get I just made sure to make like a thick healthy application of that dotting tool um, that way I have gel product to work with to make these little outlines of stars and everything like that. Um, and then I'm also going to go in and just use a little Shein brush I got to ombre the clouds and make them look fluffier and give them a more kind of like realistic look. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm just fluffing out the bottom, just kind of giving it a little bit of dimension like that. And as you can see... The difference it looks so much more like a cloud already so I love that going in with these two as well it just gives so much dimension like once you start to learn nail art you learn that there's like so many like different techniques different uses for different brushes um, and that was really helpful for that so again I'm gonna go in and make my stars and everything like that and yeah shout out to Rosa on TikTok like that look just, uh, I don't know what it was, man. That look was just stunning to me, girl. Like, you did that. So, y'all make sure to go ahead and give her a follow, okay? This look would not have been possible or done, like, without me seeing that on her. Um, but, yeah, I think it's perfect for the spring, especially with the sun coming out and just looking at the sky. You can see, you know, the clouds. It's nice and warm outside and normally I don't like warm weather but after this long ass winter with these crazy rainstorms in California I'm, I'm actually looking forward to summer and that's that's probably the first time I've ever said that in my life um looking forward to the warm weather and just being outside I feel like winter even though I love winter that winter this winter felt super long I don't like being cooped up for so long and then you know a lot of people including myself get affected by sad which is um 
seasonal affective disorder. And, you know, I've read it's from like the lack of uh, vitamin D that you're getting, the just being inside and isolated. So make sure to get outside, breathe some fresh air. Um, and then this is the, this is how the nail art came out. I, I loved it so much. It came out so good. And especially with that top coat, I mean, just, it just, what do you guys think? <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think of the look. I love it so much. I had a lot of fun doing it, even though I struggled with the recording. Look at it with the flash on, just that chrome hits different with the blue reflex. And then you can even see a little bit of like purple in there in the sun. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Be sure to check out some of my other videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.